Hey guys, episode 3, chapter 2, Resident Evil Revelations 2. Let's go, let's go. Wesker. <laughs> it can't be the same woman. Where's Moira? What have you done with her? Keep moving. Can you walk? Is Alex Wesker. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. They called her the Overseer. She took Moira away from me. And now I'll never get... And all for fucking what? I'm sorry. It's okay. She said she was going to be reborn. Reborn how? With the virus? Why did she need my little girl? Doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, I can't remember anything else. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. It's my problem, not yours. Just take it easy. I do like how Barry's methods of escaping are beyond ridiculous pretty much every single time. I was just thinking about how I used to go for walks like this with Moira and Polly. Were you a good family? <laughs> we tried to be. Moira and I fought a lot. Even after she grew up. Was it because she used bad words? <laughs> no. She just did that to tick me off. I'm the one that drove us apart. I messed up real bad as a father. She and Polly were playing in the house. I forgot to lock up my guns, and Moira, she... <sighs> Polly had an accident. Was it Moira's fault? No, it was mine. 
But I raised my voice at her, and I guess I never really got around to taking the blame. Holly survived, thank God. But now me and Moira, we started drifting apart. I think she still loved you. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. I'll tell you this much. I couldn't save her, but I'm gonna save you. I promise I'll get you off this island. I know. Thanks, Barry. That was a fairly important piece of backstory right there. It's okay. I can walk now. Ah. All right, partner. Down you go. Fairly important piece of backstory right there. And it does explain Moira's behavior a lot towards Barry. Though I do still say it seems a little bit out of place given the environment we're in still. And I do understand that she is fairly angry about what happened and whatnot. Most, probably most of the other self, but also at the fact that Barry wasn't there to support her and stuff. But still, I feel like that wouldn't be the first thing on your mind when faced with what you are currently being faced with. And also, uh, I was going somewhere with this. I'll get back to that at some point, I guess. That does explain why she doesn't want to use weapons as well. And I do wonder if I did choose to switch character, what would have happened then? In that cutscene in the previous chapter. Because that was definitely an option, but... I think because I already started tapping the one button... Before the other button even appeared on screen, it just wouldn't let me do the other option. Which is kind of sad. I, uh... I am curious where the other option would have gone. I'm I might... Replay that chapter at some point. Just real quick, like, to see what will happen if I do that. But we'll see, I guess. But yeah. Let's just keep going. Maybe find a brick here or there. So we can hit that red smudge. Don't worry about it, Barry. We got this. I guess it really is on the down low over there. The down low is where we have to go. Somewhere over there. I wonder if this chapter will also be like two hours long. Whoop. There we go. It was a bug. We have defeated bug. And now we are ready to fight off evil. Now we are ready to continue onwards and throw our bricks at those things right there. Let's see what's going to happen. There's something ahead. Be careful. Yeah. Uh, fling. Yeah. He weren't ready for that. I wonder what he's gonna do now. Like, I don't think he's really capable of coming close to me. I wonder what his options is. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna try and attack me? Is he gonna climb something, maybe? Or is he just gonna walk into a wall? I think I don't really care about the answer anymore because it looks like he's just gonna walk into a wall. But you know, he tried. As did he, sort of. He didn't try his heart though. But I think they both gave a valuable piece of effort or something. They both tried. Also, I'm glad we're back in the sewers again. It's by far my favorite part of the entire game. I love sewers. We need more sewers. We need more poop places in our lives. Otherwise, life's just too clean. You know how I feel about clean living. Best replaced with more sewers, clearly. That's what I like. That's what I enjoy seeing. Poop everywhere. I'm a little bit worried about what's that. What that, 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 that uh. Someone's coming. Hello, sir. Hmm. I do seem a little bit amused by the fact that I'm shooting them. But I have so many bullets. Might as well keep shooting them. We're not any safer down here. You okay? Yeah, are you? Okay. 
Thanks for the response, Bear. You're really making me feel better. Or are you going to respond once I walk through this door? Or are you just going to choose never to respond? Like a big old jerk face. Because I gotta say, that's kind of jerk face of you right there. What are those? What is that right there? Oh, it's bugs. There you go. You can't stop me that easily. I got explosions on my side. You know what's stronger than explosions? Nothing. Explosions are the number one force of destruction. Number two is Barry. That's only because Barry's punches create explosions. That's right. That's how strong Barry is. You can't mess with someone that powerful. There's something ahead. Be careful. Oh, hello. Can I knife you? Yeah. How about you guys? How many of you guys are actually even real? Why do you give off this strange smudgy smudge? When none of you are actually alive. What's that all about? Why are there so many bugs? <laughs> Why are there so many bugs? I mean, I guess we are in the sewers, but I wouldn't... still wouldn't like this many bugs in my life. Oh! Do you think this is why we opened this thing? Because it actually works out for... Barry and friends. Because we opened this with Moira... and Claire. And I guess if we hadn't done that, then we wouldn't have been able to go in here. So that's pretty neat. How it, like, goes into each other like that. It's now a little bit more noticeable that these chapters are actually sort of connected with one another. Outside of that, we're walking in the same places with both characters every single time. That was very not actually that close, but okay. Ammo case. Oh, hello. A ripple in time. I got an achievement for something, and I don't know what it is. I'd look it up, but I'm gonna look it up, actually. Uh, let's see. Obtain the item that lies beyond the gate in the sewers in bed. Alright, yeah. It's like specifically getting that item. So I guess you really do need to do that with Moira and Claire to open a path for Barry and Natalia Lalalilale. Natalia Lalalilale. So that's kind of neat. That's kind of cool. How these things intertwine. Don't you like how these things intertwine? Because I like how these things intertwine. But mostly I just like the word intertwine. I feel like a lot of these guys are going to come to life. And I'm feeling a little bit uncertain about this. But okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's how we get rid of enemies down in these parts. Oh, what the heck? Where are these bugs continuously coming from? I can see where that guy came from, but the bugs... They're being sneaky creatures. It does appear that... Like, sneak attacks seem to do more damage than non-sneaky attacks. And when I do it all sneaky-like, they seem to instantly die. And when I don't do it all sneaky-like, they don't seem to die so much. And that worries me. But okay. Alright, guys. Which one of you... I mean, that guy's alive. Are any of the others showing signs of the living? Couple of them. Well, I heard a noise, but... I don't know. Oh. I guess that guy. Why are you so mad? I'm just trying to have living time. And instead you are trying to make me a dead. You are trying to make me a dead. Yeah, there you go. Oh. He was wearing a helmet, but his helmet was really not very protective at all. Boom. Bow. Pew. Whoosh. And he's already dead as well. Everyone's dying. Everyone's being with the dead. Sometimes because of me. Sometimes because of others. Most of the times because of me. Someone died there just now, and I don't know why. I'm very confuzzled. Eh. <laughs> See, this is... Even Tiny Girl Girl is getting sick of all of your shenanigans with all of these things that are continuously happening. I would prefer if you'd stop attacking me with the bugs. The bugs are not increasing my enjoyment. The bugs are making me wary. And I am getting worn out. Because of the... 
Sheer quantity of bugs. I just broke one of my bricks on that guy. Still not sure how that happens sometimes, but sure. Anything scary? Oh, there's no bug. But no bug strong enough for me to not kill. Oh, and this is the other uh, area. Could have sworn I heard someone behind me just now, but all right. Either way, that thing contains a lot more ammo. Plus, it's a new weapon, so why not? Why wouldn't I take that? Can I go in here with, uh... It looks like the kind of place she would be able to crawl into, but I guess not. Okay. Okay, then. Well, at least now we know the point of all these things that we did back in the past six months ago. Now we know. Though I do wonder what the status is of Claire and friend. Because... Claire and Moira... <laughs> They look pretty alive when I left them. They look pretty alive when I was still playing as them. I don't think they were secretly dead. But then again, there is still a chapter coming up after this one. Which may or may not explain whether or not Claire and Moira are still uh, with the living. Maybe this chapter is going to explain it too. Oh, is that how we go and play it then? There we go. I don't know if this thing deals more or less damage, but that's fine. Oh, I wonder if Russian dude's still here. He might be dead, I guess. Looks like there's a workshop table thing over there. So we got that going for us. The fact that there's invisible enemies here is a little bit worrying in terms of Russian dude and his living space. But who knows? Perhaps I will be proven wrong. Perhaps Russian dude is strong warrior. Who knows how to do the living. Russian dude might also be one of the dudes that cannot be like easily found with my little girl abilities. Because I don't think he was really that infected. He was just mad. But you know, mad's not that bad. Mad's pretty good. Mad means living. Sort of. Yeah. Russian man? Hmm. Oh. That's not so good looking. I guess he. Yeah. Yeah. Leave him be. Poor man. He died all alone. At least he died on his own terms, it seems. Wait. This is Moira's. Maybe. Now I'm super duper curious I'm if there's wreck this island <laughs> for what it did to her. Yeah, now I'm super duper curious if there is any differences between uh switching between characters in that one scene at the end there or not. Because maybe they'll like teach her how to start using guns again without being too scared of those situations and then we wouldn't have had all these issues. I don't think I actually wanted to make a smoke screen bottle there, but all right, whatever. So now I'm not, I'm uncertain. <laughs> I'm uncertain how to feel right now. I'm gonna make fire bombs. I like fire bombs a lot. They're fun. I'm gonna pass that over. Oh God, what if she actually is dead? Like it could actually be the case. But it seems somewhat anticlimactic if she says she's dead and then it actually turns out. That she is dead. I don't know why. I'm just not really feeling there being dead, you know. Let's get out of here first. Stay close, okay? I will. Hmm. It is an odd one, though. He's got a lot of boots. Like he's wearing boots, and he's got three more pairs of boots lying around as well. Can I do anything here as well? I guess I kept the phone. Workbench. All right. Um. Oh, this gun is a lot weaker, but is that because of the upgrades, or is that with uh, the case without the upgrades as well? 
85, 75, but it, can, it can't contain an extra upgrade. And it has a lot more ammo inside it, so I think I might actually go for that one. Even if it is a bit weaker, I think the extra ammo is just going to end up paying off in that regard. I like being able to shoot a lot, rather than shoot a little, you see. Also, didn't I pick up ammo with... yeah. I should be giving that to Bear Bear. And then you can have that, and then you can have that, and then I can reload that. And it all fits perfectly into one good old-fashioned inventory. The Old Man's Journal. 1988, wow. I need practice my English, so I write in this journal every day. This journal on every day. Every day I write, but have no words. Now I have good reason. Today I welcome first child to the world. Her mother give her the name Irina. Irina? I don't know. It was my grandmother's name. I object, but I cannot win against stubborn woman. She has eyes and nose of her father, but mouth of her mother. We will raise her to be strong and healthy girl. This year island is have good spirits again. Mining business goes well. My life is pretty good for me now. I want to give Irina the same feeling when she is older. It is my responsibility now as parent. 1994. Irina is already six years old. How flies time. She loves to imitate her mother. Her mother hates it. Probably because imitation is perfect. Little Krushka is very smart. She likes math. Her grandmother liked math too. Irina's smile helped to take my mind off worries. The mines have become dangerous. And now they make no money. Island's condition is worse and worse. I might have lose job too. But there is no time for a worry. This island is our home. I want to give it to a little Kroshka in good condition. It's my responsibility now as parent. 2000. Irina is now 12 years old. Already rebellious. More like mother every day. I don't understand women. Now I am embarrassed to her. Until she need money or a request. Speaking of money and wom women and money. A woman comes to our island. She promises to bring back industry. I have job now, to help build new facility in the mine. I thought mine was finished, but she has a use for it. She is loved by all. They call her savior, our benefactor. My mother always said never trust people with money. The poor worker is more reliable than rich capitalist. It's good advice, but the rich woman is helping us. 2008. It is Irina's 20th birth, 20 years birthday. I should be celebrating, but I'm worried. Next week she will go to work in mines. I was against it, but Koshka will not listen to me. Has not listened for years. Why start now? Irina is stubborn, just like her father. She used to always say, I guess she was right. Has it always been? Has it already been a year since you left us, my darling? I don't trust the people in the facility. There's something wrong about them. But everybody else think me stubborn, old man. Maybe now Irina too. But I know I'm right. I just hope Irina will realize this too soon. 2009. I have not seen Irina in almost one year. Something bad is happening to our home. People become sick. More things I cannot explain. I know it's all because of that woman. She smells of evil. This was to become Irina's home, but too late now. I leave this town. Everything but island is my home. I will not leave. No place to go, so I go to sewers. I stay here. Things will get worse, I know it. Irina, be safe. I will find you. I promise, Koshka. You are all your father have left. Oh. Well, that does explain why he was not really feeling Alex being around this part of the world. That's understandable. Yeah. Let's just go. Let's make this world a safer place. And to do that, little Natalia is going to make the world a better place. With a little Lottie suit. And a good old time. Okay. Map's gone. I don't see anyone with my Natalie vision. I don't know if that's the name for it, but that's what I'm calling it now. And there's someone down there. And there's someone over there. And there is a rat. There's enemies everywhere. Sort of. 
There's enemies everywhere, sort of. I mean, there's definitely corpses. We're gonna shoot everyone in the face. Just to be safe. Just to make sure that... These are all of the dead. These are none of the living. These are all... Fallen down. Forever. But none of these people are actually standing up from the look of things, so hopefully this is safe. Unless they're very scripted enemies, upon which I'm going to be very, very angry. Because I shot them in the face. They should be dead. They should be doing with the dead. I saw footprints further up ahead, so I guess we're going in that general direction. Also, there's another bug over there. And the music is getting kind of exciting-ish. I'm not really sure what the music is doing currently, but... Oh. Interesting. Wish. And it missed. Awesome. Okay. Well, I guess... Oh, we have another shot. This is why they put several bricks here. <laughs> For people like me who cannot see. Wish. There we go. Strange bug. Invisible bug. Everything in this game is invisible. <laughs> Everything, every single thing in this dead game. End. Nothing's a dead end. Looks like we can open the sluice from higher up. I want to get that map from up there. That's all I care about. Everything else is just an afterthought. Without a mini map, I get worried and scared and worried and scared. I hope AI Barry. Hang on. AI Barry is gonna wear the Magnum for as long as he possibly can. Because AI AI Barry Magnum seems like a good. Good combination. Can you open the sluice from that side? I was really worried okay, that bridge was going to go down. If. Get myself map. Full thingy. I've shot all of these people at least once, except for the one in the far end over there, but... I feel like we're going to be okay. And none of them stood up when I shot them, so surely... They are with the dead. Surely they are with the dead. What? Keep it up, but it's already up. What? How much more do you want her to do, Barry? She can only do so much. She's not a machine. I hope that's not a monster over there. Rifle ammo, cool. Let's reload that bad boy. There we go. Okay. I don't remember this place. Natalia, see if you can get this open. Natalia. I really hope. That guy is not an enemy. Hello, friend. Don't mind me. I'm just here. What is that? Nothing. It is nothing. It is just a yellow cloud. That is something, though. Now, it is no longer a thing. I guess the, the uh, crosshair changes whenever you actually kill someone, so it's kind of nice that there is some sort of visual indication that something changes when they die. Because it can be kind of hard to see, but if the crosshair does change every time, then that is a good representation of death. Which is quite useful to have. Because it, it can definitely be quite hard to see anything in this game sometimes. Cool. I was hoping that would be the case. I'm a little bit worried about that part over there. Now I'm less worried. Let's uh, quickly check in this direction now. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, cool. Okay, guys. I'm guessing a lot of you are going to be alive. Now there is only one. And he was running th into the fire. And died as well. Good job, guys. Very good job. This is why you are not with the living anymore. Because you walk into fire and die. This is why you are dead. This is why you have no second chance. This is why I win. <laughs> okay, let's see what's up here. There's another thing I can push down. There's a lot of things I can push down here, actually. And I'm gonna push all of them down. Because I feel like we're probably gonna be firing something big soon. Because I don't know why else there would be so many things for me to push down. Although I guess it could be a red herring. But it would be a strange red herring, I suppose. Barry, shoot this thing in my way. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. 
Sure. I mean, I get that, but there's a there's a big bug over there, also known as a zombie. And the zombie is stopping me in my path right now. Sort of. I mean, I could just keep going, but I kind of like the idea of standing on top of this and having a good vantage point, and then shooting him like that. But it seems that he is okay. He is not one of the living. He is just one of them people that lies next to sluice levers to make me feel all scaredy pants. There is a dog over there. I'm gonna push this thing down first. Just in case. What is benefit? I don't know. But there probably is one. I'll deal with that in a second. I'm gonna see what's over here first. Uh, should I do that? There's an emblem over there, so I should remember that at least. Hmm. Another thing I have to shoot. Dude walking back and forth. I'm gonna go back over there and make Barry walk forward a bit. Please, thank you. Because I feel like having Barry walk forward ever so slightly is going to make it a little bit easier for Natalia not to be with the dead. I wonder how much I actually have to open this before I no longer have to press the button. I think probably once you can crouch under it, you probably lose control of the QT, but... Like, I can probably crouch under it now with Barry without any real issues. So I don't know why I have to make it go all the way up. I don't know about these things. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna kill that dog over there. Which I know is out there somewhere. There he is. Boop. He did a weird little dive over there, but alright. Look at my aim being oh so perfect right now. Last guy that shot like that was Robin Hood. He had a gun. Little known fight. He shot guns all the time. No one knew. Just making sure. Just in case. But I didn't trust that one bit. <laughs> Not one bit. I'm gonna wait for that guy to come back and then I'm gonna shoot that red thing. Boop. I feel like that's a fun plan. A fun idea. Which makes the dead happen. Oh, that didn't really do much of anything. I mean, it did something, I suppose, but... It wasn't as effective. It mostly just inconvenienced me than the enemies, really. That was not so good. I am disappointed. I am very disappointed. But that's okay. I'm just gonna clear out the rest of this path first before moving onwards, I think. Because it seems to be a pretty reasonable strategy of staying alive, as the BGs put it. Hmm. I don't think I can continue in this direction, but I can still hear enemies. I don't like that. I don't know where I can hear them from, though. I don't know which ones are alive and which ones are the dead. It's kind of hard to tell, really. I wish I could stand on this gunk, this junk. That junk would be pretty useful to stand on right about now. Because then I would have a better vantage point of where Natalia is going. Because right now it's kind of hard to, like, hit those guys over there. Barry has to shoot this thing. So suppose I can at least see zombies once I do that. Inevitably one of those has got to stand up, right? I mean, come on. Come on. Really? None of these? Not even that one? Oh. Knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That was prepared. I'm hoping that one isn't Going to try and ruin my day. Because that would suck. There we go. I wonder if I can... I can't even quickly switch character while I'm doing this nonsense right here. So pressing tab right now just does nothing. So if, if, if it does turn out to be a bad one while I'm doing this, then I, I am in the troubles. But it's okay. It's okay. Her parts box. Everything's okay. Is that a bottle? 
I think it's Botty. Yeah. I did it. I win. I am with the winners. Go me. Now what exactly do I do from this point on? Because I'm not actually 100% sure. I'm gonna make Barry walk a little bit further forward at least because there's corpses afoot and I don't like it. I don't want corpses to be on my foot. That could be a very big inconvenience for me. If a corpse falls and gnaws on my foot. And then my foot don't work no more. And if my foot don't work no more, then how am I to do the walking? Christopher walking? That's right. No one knows. I am a little bit concerned about all these zombies in that direction, so... That direction. Singular, not plural. Be dead. Be dead. When I tell you to be dead, you don't ask twice. You just do the do. I thought it was simple. But apparently not. Uh, probably supposed to use that thing on him, but... A single bullet in his face seems to be sufficient in dealing with this problem right there. I am, however, going to shoot that one. And I was correct, that one came to life. It was a good choice, I think. Bling! Yeah, uh, what's that? Gunpowder? So many things. This is quite an interesting little puzzle they got going on here, though. It's not even really a puzzle, I suppose, but... It, it, I mean, you do sort of puzzly things. I'm gonna make one of those. There we go. Free up a whole bunch of inventory space, but yeah, like... You gotta switch between characters. The character switching is working quite well in this particular instance. And is neat. I think it is neat. And I hope everyone else thinks it's neat too. Because I find it neat. And when you all agree with me, we're all having a neat time. When we're all having a neat time, then we don't have to worry about... Zombies eating our brains. Sort of. I guess we still have to worry about that a little bit, but not as much. So please, zombies. Have a neat time. Don't eat my brains. That's all I want. Huh. Let's hope they agree with me. The music's all nice as well. It's all sort of stealthy music. I don't know if that counts as a genre, stealthy music, but it sort of does, I think. Barry, there's something over there. Brilliant. Invisible enemy. I wonder if I could do. Hmm. Is it? I don't think it's really noticed me so far. Why am I turning around every time? Oh my god. Higher? I... God, I hate this, though. Why do they stumble back every time I hit them? Oh! That's convenient. Is he dead? I can't tell. No. The smoke made him visible for a bit, but... Oh my god. Like, he is pretty pissed off. I think it's safe to say that he's not... There we go. Ugh. I do hate those guys. I do hate those guys quite a bit. I'll be honest. I do not lie to you this day. I am not in favor of those enemies. Especially when my little friend who gives me directions, is that far away. But whatever. Disinfected. Oh, the god, that only made it worse. I was hoping that would clear my inventory a bit, but apparently I can give, give disinfectant. I can j I'm just throwing it to her, apparently. I don't know what's going on there. But whatever. Whatever works. We move. I think we're getting to the point, at least, where we're starting to come together again, I think. That's a dead bug. Keep on being dead, space bug. Keep it up. I like it when you are with the dead. Makes it a lot less worrisome. Ah, oh, god, my inventory space, though. Nope. Combine. That was a... I mean, we are pretty far away right about now. <laughs> and I feel like I have tried to do that before and it didn't work out all that well. But I guess this is an exception to the rule for some reason. So can I pass things to her? Yeah, I can also pass things to her from all the way over here. But when I was Claire and Moira, I couldn't do that, for some reason. And I presumed it was because we were so far away from one another, but apparently it's 
Maybe Barry's just magic. I mean, Barry is pretty strong. Maybe he just put the things in his gun that he tried to give her and then just was like, yeah, dog, here it is. And then just shot it to Natalia. Natalia caught it because Natalia is amazing. Alright. That's a bit of an issue. I think we can all agree that that is a bit of a problem. But perhaps not. Perhaps it is not a problem. Perhaps it's not a problem at all. It is just a happy little Barry, sneaky. Shoot this thing in my way. You don't have to get so mad about it. I can hear you. You're right there. You're within my vision. I wonder... <laughs> I wonder if it is... If it does have to do with them not being able to see me. Or if it's just that some have less health than others. <laughs> because... I'm pretty sure that one was fairly, like, aware of what was going on at that point, and he still died in one shot. So maybe it is related to that instead. Maybe it's because Natalia is a bear. And when they see the bear, they're like, oh, so cute. That's not a real person, that's bear. And then they stop being aware of who I am. That's also possible. A lot of different possibilities. I don't know which one's the right one. What I do know... But there's a thing I can push down there, and I'm gonna push it downwards. Hopefully not fall down myself. That would... That would suck. If I fall down and die, I would be unhappy. And I would feel miserable. And I would have to redo probably this entire thing. Which would also make me feel miserable. It would make me feel les miserables. Hmm. I don't know if this was the right call but I don't know how much of a difference it makes, honestly. Hey, guys! See if you can get this open. It's already open, Barry. But, thanks. Is there a bug down there, like an invisible one? Or just uh, happy times? This is some enemies over there, I think. Eh. Hey, guys. The game just saves. What's that all about, am I right? My fellow brothers. That's so bizarre. Uh, there we go. I accidentally shot one of my friends in the foot. Oh. I guess there was an invisible enemy over there. I didn't even see him. Oh, and there's another one. What? Where are all these bugs suddenly coming from? I never saw these invisible enemies, and suddenly there's like three bugs. That are all dead. Which, you know, I'm fine with, I suppose, but... You can at least let me know first. Before you all start appearing out of nowhere. Very rude. Very rude. I would have been dead twice. Had I not known about those. Had I known about... I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Everyone said. I have nothing more to worry about. I don't think that guy's going to do much to me either. I don't think that guy's going to do much to me either. They all try to sneak up on me with their pretending to be of the dead. I'm too smart for them. I'm too super duper smart for them. Except for that guy, who's still, uh, emitting some smoke for some reason. He's too smart for me. I hope there's not, a, like, one of those insta-death flies over here. Because Natalia is not very good against insta-death flies, I think. I have not actually had her fight one, I don't think. I'm not actually sure now. But somehow I feel that she's not super strong against us. I have a hunch. Natalia, open this loose! Come on, Natalia! Why isn't Barry helping you? Why isn't he pushing it upwards with his Barry force? I feel like Barry should be capable of doing that. I think Barry has the power and the strength required. Barry, uh, hug, hug. Sluice Master. Master. That's a thing. Sluice There's still one there. Why are there so many? How did I miss so many? When they're all here, just hanging out, having a good time, and they're all just there being like, Yep, we're actually all out there to kill you. Makes me feel nervous. If at first I don't even see any of them. <laughs> Very strange, but whatever. I'll, I'll go with it, I guess. Ugh, whatever. We're just gonna do our good old-fashioned reliable lockpicking puzzle for a while instead. Uh, uh. I don't know where I'm supposed to put this thingy. 
Well, that was totally close enough. Come on. Why you gotta move it afterwards as well? What was that all about? What's that all about, Gim? What's that all about? Very angry. At my gimmick boxes. They are such a gimmick. Ho, ho, ho. Hilary. Hilary. Hilary House. And I think Barry just got a lot of extra inventory space, which is lovely, because I was kind of struggling with the limited amount of space that I had at my disposal. But right now, I am ready to take down any item that can go into my inventory or whatever. <laughs>